the warmest of welcomes to you. We await the conclusion of the pre-game formalities. The teams then, Rayo Vallecano against Barcelona. I'm Peter Drury, and here with me in the commentary box, I'm glad to report, is Jim Beglin. Hi everyone, and thanks Peter, it's great to be on board. Rayo Vallecano shape up in a 4-4-2. It's a system of balance. The midfield can be a straight four or a diamond shape, and one of the attackers can, can always drop off. the whistle and here we go Suarez gets his foot in there offside yes it is gets it upfield Lays it out to the flank. He's having a look round. And it's Dembele. Decent progress down the left. He's got away. Towering header. Goal! Barcelona! Barcelona are in front. Barcelona are really pouncing on any stray passes in midfield. We're talking seconds from interception to the back of the net. It's counter-attacking heaven. Barcelona go ahead. One goal to the good. Can't get the better of his opposite number. Rakitic. And the shot! Oh, that's brilliant! And already they're looking to run away with it. Oh, beautifully dispatched. There was no reaching that. Now that's what I call finishing, right in the corner. He knew instinctively who was where and didn't need to waste any time weighing things up. That's a cracking goal. Barcelona have a couple of goals without reply. It's 2-0. At 1-0, this contest was still nicely poised, but now that it's gone to two, mindsets are affected a lot more. Winning belief one way and that losing feeling the other. Well, here is the raid we were told to expect. Dembele. Balls out on the left now. Going through. Dembele goes for goal! They are rampant! All too easy! They are in danger of disappearing out of sight! Finishing doesn't come simpler than that. Bang in front of goal. Well, considering he has a bit of a, a shoot-on-sight policy, he was the one player that should have been picked up then. It was both careless and costly from where I'm sitting. Barcelona take a three-goal lead, and they are romping out of sight. He's left his man. Suarez decides to play it back. Played out to the right. Going through. Yes, he is offside. Just it seems, but just is enough. And it's Dembele. He's got away. 
Dembele's cross. Oh, no, it's an own goal! Oh, it's terribly unfortunate for them, and maybe we can attribute that to a, to a loss of focus. Barcelona got some help from Lady Luck there. They all count. Belts one. Well, he caught that pure, but no end product. Well, I think a little eagerness just got the better of him. He may have been thinking about back page headlines there. Rio Baiacano get it back again. Play for a throw. Truthfully, it was hard to see any better outcome there. Out wide to the right. That's good progress he's made on the ball. Where to next? Great leap! In it goes! Hot knife through butter. They have done it again. Well, I think we've gone past humiliation now. This could be doing some real psychological damage. Boston. There is the half-time whistle. Well, that flew by. It was breathless stuff. It's been one-way traffic here after the first 45 minutes. A relentless barrage that looks set to continue this game with great desire and heart. There's no need to back away from that. Barcelona have run riot in the first half, and barring a miraculous comeback, they have done the job already. So we're just settling back into this second half. He'll have a dip! Keeper always had the measure of that. Suarez worked a lovely solo run and effort, Peter. He should go solo again for me. Some activity down on the touchline. It seems there's going to be a change. Up to meet it! And that's wide. That was good defensive pressure to give him less manoeuvring room. They've come out of the dressing room firing on all cylinders now. We could be in for quite a second half here. And it's been taken straight back. Vigera. Yeah, he's pulled him up for that challenge. Long ball, but not especially accurate. Jordi Alba. And it's Javi Guerra. Forward it goes. Suarez pushes it out wide. Going through. Coutinho in towards the middle. Massive leap! Goal! Well, surely that completes the demolition if it hadn't occurred already. Well, I wasn't expecting them to go this big, Peter, but they have been superb. His second of the game, and an eye now for the hat-trick.
Face to face with the keeper. Oh, he's broken through. He's gone for it! Cuts it out. Javiquera. Oh, it's taken out. That'll be a foul. And the referee has shown him a yellow card. Well, what goes through a player's head at times like that is a mystery to me. Now it's Guerra. It'll be a throw in. <laughs> now it's Luis Suarez. Now the counter. He's got away. Striding forward. And the finish! There is the genius of Luis Suarez! And again, they pile on the misery. Yeah, and by the looks of it, there may be still more to come. He snaffles his third, and that earns him the match ball. Well, he's been the outstanding player on the pitch and devastating in front of the goal. What a display, what a player. He's away! And it's Javi Guerra. Javi Guerra! Oh, there was plenty on that. So, the manager making the last of his changes. Well, for me, this was the obvious substitution. He'd become just a little jaded, and as a result of that, he was most likely to make a mistake. I think sometimes when the body becomes tired, the brain goes with it, and I think that's happened in this case. He's left his man. And there goes the final whistle. A demolition, destruction, annihilation. They simply ran away with it. Your final thoughts, Jim? Barcelona simply imposed their strength from start to finish, and this became as predictable as predicted. So that's it from us. Many thanks go to Jim Beck.